Hi guys, welcome to CWA Part B lecture. Part B is practical and the name of the Part B is Book of Specification, BOS. Today I'm going to briefly give you the idea of Part B of CWI by looking at the contents here. When you look at table of contents, you can see the first chapter is general requirements. This is only one page, actually two pages. And chapter two is workmanship requirements and visual inspection acceptance criteria for structural steel application. And chapter three is workmanship requirements and visual inspection acceptance criteria for pipeline application. And chapter 4 is workmanship requirements and visual inspection acceptance criteria for pressure piping. So when you look at these three chapters, number 2, 3, 4, the name of the title is the same. Workmanship requirements and visual inspection acceptance criteria. But the purpose of the each chapter is different the structure steer and pipeline and pressure piping after these chapters we can go to chapter 5 procedure qualification requirements which is P PQR and WPS WPS and PQR WPS is w WPS stands for welding specification procedure and PQR stands for procedure uh, qualification record and chapter 6 is performance qualification requirements. This is welder performance qualification requirements. This is CWA part B. Very simple. And we have annex 1 through 10. But these are references. So um, I'm going to give you a lecture of part B chapter 2 today chapter 2 workmanship requirements and visual acceptance criteria structure steer okay let's start 2.1 base metal preparation 2.1.1 mirror industry discontinuities some of you may know what mirror industry discontinuity is, but some of you are not. So I'm going to read this text, text and give you the idea of the what the mirror industry discontinuity is. Okay. Here, I underline the text with the red lines and read it through. The length of these discontinuities is the visible long dimension on the cost surface of the material and the depth is the distance that the discontinuity extends into the material from the cost surface. Okay, this is the mirror, disc, mirror industry discontinuity. Okay, when you cut the uh, cut the base material. Uh, you use something like this kind of oxygen cutting torch. So the base metal plate is cutting by this flame. But when you see the surface of the cutting, cutting surface is very rough. And sometimes you can see this kind of irregularity here cutting surface very irregular and sometimes you have a defect here something like here this is like something like porosity and here very end of the edge of the plate you can see the poros something like porosity defect and the depth is very deep something like a very uh, long elongated discontinuity this kind of things are mirror induced discontinuities so depth is the distance that this discontinuity extends into the material and 
the length is a visible long dimension. So depth is this is the depth and this is length. You can uh, try to understand this kind of concept. This depth and length. Very simple. Next one is this limits of acceptability and the repair of visually observed cut surface discontinuities shall be as follows. So the limits limits and acceptability is following right here. Number A, any discontinuity 25 millimeter in length or less need not be repaired and depths need not be explored. So discontinuity has 25 millimeter in length or less. So let's say this length here to here is less than 25 millimeter here like it says 25 including 25 and 25 millimeter less less than 25 millimeter this discontinuity does not need to be repaired here it says need not be explored and need not be repaired so the depths, depths need not be, needs not be repaired. The lengths needs not be repaired. So you can just uh, let it be there. Number B. Any discontinuity over 25 millimeter in length with maximum depth of 3 millimeter need not be repaired, but the depth should be explored. So the same concept. This length is 25 millimeter. But the depth is less than three millimeter. Like he says, depth maximum depth is three millimeter. So the less than three millimeter. Then the depths of the discontinuity need not be explored, and this length need not be repaired. This is what it says in number B. Number C says any discontinuity over 25 millimeter in length with depths over 3 millimeter but not greater than 6 millimeter should be completely removed and repaired where did. So what it says is here discontinuity over 25 millimeter in length and depth is over 3 millimeter but not greater than 6 millimeter should be removed completely removed and repair welded so the length is over 25 millimeter for example 30 30 millimeter and the depth depth is greater than 3 millimeter but less than 6 millimeter this kind of discontinuity should be completely removed removed and it says repair where did repair where did so you grind this out and then the cavity the cavity part should be repair where did
this is number C. Number D, any discontinuity over 25 millimeter in length with depths over 6 millimeter shall be re referred to the engineer for this position. As a discontinuity over 25 millimeter and depths over 6 millimeter, this length is over 25 millimeter. So something like 40 millimeter and the depth is more than 6 millimeter. It should be, should not be repaired, but this discontinuity should be reported to the engineer and wait for his or her disposition. What to do? This is number D. Okay, let's move on to 2.2 workmanship requirements. 2.2.1 reference requirements. Where the edge preparation and other edge surfaces shall be evaluated with the Surface Roughness Guide AWS C 4.1-77. So where the edge preparation, edge preparation is something like ve ve beveling, beveling and other edge surfaces, uh, some uh, other edge surfaces, we evaluated and cut surface shall be compared with Roughness Guide AWS C 4.1-77. So this is AWS C 4.1-77, the Surface Roughness Guide. This plate, this plate here is shows the sample number one. Sample number one is very rough. It has very rough surface, but sample number two here is the surface of the roughness, roughness of the surface is not rougher than the sample number one. The sample number one, sample number two, very rough, uh, less rough, and sample number three is more less rough and sample number four is very not rough very fine so you compare this cut surface to the this AWS C 4.1-77 plate and check these surf surface roughness Let's go to 2.2.1.1. World edge preparation surfaces for manual and semi-automatic welding processes shall not be rougher than sample 3 and shall have no gouges differed, deeper than 1.5 mm. World, world edge preparation surfaces, something like this, this. For manual and semi-automatic manual welding process is something like GTAW and SMAW this is manual and semi-automatic is GMAW and F C A W. These are semi-automatic and G T A W and S M A W. These are manual. S M A W is same as stick welding. G T A W is the same as TIG. 
gmaw is the same as mig and fjw is the same as co2 so a new see this manual and semi automatic you just think of gtaw smaw for manual and gmaw and fjw for semi automatic version processes and these processes should not be rougher than sample 3 and should have no gouges deeper than 1.5 millimeter so this surface roughness roughness should not be rougher than this sample 3 sample 3 should not be rougher than this surface but look at this uh, roughness this is uh, kind of fine but this is very rough the surface roughness is very coarse so this sample 3 is uh, not the sample 3 the surface is rougher than this sample 3 but according to this paragraph 2.2.1.1 this manual and semi-automatic welding process this uh, surface preparation should not be rougher than sample 3 so this is kind of wrong so the actual CWI problem looks like this something like examine F8 in T joint the surface is mechanized welded by FHAW so mechanized weld this is this is manual and semi-automatic but mechanized weld is following here in 2.2.1.2 Does the surface preparation meet the workmanship requirement for structural steel application? So you compare with the CWI uh, AWS C point C4.1-77. So attach this plate to the surface of the uh, world and then compare this roughness to sample 3. This is very fine, but the cut surface very very rough. So the answer is unacceptable. Unacceptable. Additional items should be prepared. This kind of problem is actual CWI problem. Actually, the problem problem is the question. So this is how you read this text and workmanship requirements in chapter two, workmanship requirements and visual inspection acceptance criteria for structural steel. Uh, so today uh, I'm gonna stop here and the next lecture will start from 2.2.2, 1.2. So thank you for listening my lecture today and see you next time.